World vision goes by the mantra <coughs> for children, for change, for life. And if you want to evidence real change in the community, then come to Lambwe Area Development Program. My name is Beatrice Ladona Atwell. I'm a student, I'm a third year student in the University of Masinde Morillo School of Science and Technology. I'm undertaking a degree course in the Bachelor of Commerce Finance Option. I am a beneficiary of a World Vision as a project. I was sponsored as a child in program since when I was in class two. And back then they did support me and uh, I, I got moral support, I got uh, financial support, I also got things like uniform that also enabled me to be comfortable in school among the other pupils. Uh, I also got some school fee payment after my furthering my education in, in, uh, in, in, in Form 1. My name is Lucia Kino from Baby Primary School. I am a, a sponsored child by World Vision. At, from Lambwe ABP. World Vision has helped help us to construct the dreams, water tanks, ECD room. It has brought for us bags, school uniforms, and even goods and cows back at home. Thank you, World Vision. Uh, in the past, when World Vision was starting, parents used to hide their children at home or lock the children with disabilities so that nobody is able to see them. We have some Muslims who are multiply handicapped. We have a child who is deaf and also physically challenged. We have some of them who are deaf and also mentally challenged. And we also have cerebral palsy children who are also deaf. <coughs> So our mandate is communication, and if a child has any other disability, so long as they have communication problems, then we do admit them. The only qualification for joining the school is that you have communication difficulties. Uh, we face a myriad of uh, challenges. One of them is that most of these children are normally hidden at home. And I'm happy to report that when language, uh, World Vision Language ADP came in, we had around 23 pupils in the school. Today we have 114 pupils, and majority of these have been brought for admission by World Vision. Uh, the World Vision staff while in the, while in the field are able to identify children with speech problems with the deafness and come to our office to seek admission for them. So we really want to, uh, to appreciate that, and our enrollment has gone up. Our other challenges is that most people in the society where we come from do not understand disability and its causes. And therefore, the children are normally not well taken care of, and they, 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 they tend to take school as home, so that they are very reluctant to go back at home. But uh, we are happy to report that with the assistance of uh, benefactors of the quality vision, we get the motivation to go on because we see that we are not the only people who care for these children, but there are others in the society who also care for them. And the fact that we are able to see some of them go for higher education. And at the moment, we also have one of our former students as a teacher, teaching with us, went to college, treasure training college, and came back to teach with us. So such motivates us in knowing that these children can also make it in life and would wish that many more of them succeed in life. As opposed to the other organizations, World Vision Kenya has taken time to be with the community in the very remote parts of this country, Lambwe Valley being one of them. World Vision has crossed the hills and the valleys to ensure that they reach the, most, the remotest parts. While traversing Lambwe Valley, we meet another model farmer, Ulangsana. Ulangsana, other than just being a model farmer, has now been a lead facilitator with the key organizations within Homa Bay County. He trains for Action Aid, he trains for ICP, 
he trains for many other organizations that are dealing with agricultural activities. The empowered worldview is changing their attitude. After coming from the training, I had to come and uh, disseminate the information. I had to come back and uh, impart the information to other members who did not attend that. So from there, you have, uh, I had realized that even 90% of people I talk to have changed their mind. Well, Vision has also set up health facilities in the community in partnership with the government. Ogongo Health Center is one of them. In Ogongo Health Center, while Vision has constructed the maternity wing, they've constructed a female ward and uh, a delivery room. As the community members say, you will see evidence change in the life of the community.